Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. This day, we have a very special guest on our Nike hot seat. She is Jackie Davis, making a return after having been on the radio show just last weekend. Jackie, welcome home. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I understand you have a huge announcement now. Registration is open for? The Gotham City Girls Open, the 2017 Gotham City Girls Open. And the Open will be taking place where? at Columbia University, um, up on 116th Street in Manhattan, New York. This thing continues to grow in size and scope. Who all will be competing and, and at what weights? Um, last year we had over 200 competitors uh, enter the tournament. We had, um, we had actually three girls that ended up being world team members in a few months later were getting ready for Worlds, and they were kind of competing at the event. So Team Mexico came out. Um, one of their World Team members, Irlanda, um, she she was a competitor. We had Alex Lyles, who's a multiple Pan Am and World Team member for the cadet division. Um, Michaela Beck, who is a recently a, a Fargo National Champion. Haley Cancellari, a Fargo National Champion. Um, Ca Team Canada comes down and brings a really big group uh, every year. So... It's just continued to grow over the past four years. Yeah, we t you talked about Beck, and if Beck has her way, she'll be the first female starter for the Iowa Hawkeyes. What are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, she would love to. <laughs> <laughs> she is awesome. Uh, yeah. So you mentioned national, Pan Am, world team champs, all Americans, all in competition. But it's the kids, the very future of our sport, kids one, kids two, the modified cadet, and the juniors. That's a wide range of kids. You say the event continues to grow. Yeah. 30 New York schools participating. These are 30 New York City schools participating in the Public Schools Athletic League, or as we call it, PSAL, uh, the spring varsity freestyle wrestling season. Are, are you expecting to be impressed by Hometown Heroes this year? What are your thoughts on the home homegrown product? Um, so last year, our New York national team, when we traveled out to Fargo, most of the girls that did really, really, really well were actually our younger girls that came from New York City. Uh, so I'm expecting that those girls that had their first experience with Fargo last year and their first experience with Gotham last year are going to come back and really represent us well this year. It's exciting, actually. It's very exciting to see the sport evolving. Um, I remember when we went on the air, there were a few women wrestlers out there, but the the organized effort by both USA Wrestling and high schools uh, and, and associations, athletic associations, was not where it is today. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's changed so much and all for the better. Are you feeling it? Yeah. Um, I think that New York is something that's exciting. When I first moved here, I was... I was used to a lot of girls participating in the sport. I'm originally from California, so um, it's a huge population of girls participating in the sport there. But New York was doing something totally different. They were um, New York City, not the whole state, but the city was doing their own girl season. Like you said, um, it participates only freestyle. It's a season separate from the boys in the spring. Um, and they were filling teams. They were filling rosters with these girls. It, actually, the first year they did it, it the number of girls participation increased 127 percent just because there was a girls option only so it was is really exciting and now there's things like wrestle like a girl and full ballon wrestling and usa wrestling that are all putting a lot more energy into continuing to grow it and it's paying off because we are seeing the numbers increase. I mentioned this on radio, just in the state of Iowa, for example, at the high school level, we have a 27.9% increase in the number of uh, young ladies out for the sport. It used to be a little uncomfortable for the guys to have a woman on the team or a girl on the team. Now it's almost expected. And, you know, if you don't have one, they look at you a little funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's just knowledge of that it's there before I think, um, girls didn't go because they didn't know that there was an opportunity you know they thought it was limited to only boys they didn't realize they had the opportunity to walk in the room so now that people are putting energy into just uh creating awareness it's changing the game and changing the game indeed we're also seeing uniforms change i can recall that women were having to wrestle in des uh, singlets designed for men now we have singlets designed for women how important is that oh my god <laughs> when i first started wrestling i only had boys singlets so um, it's a big deal. I mean, it's obviously a big deal because it makes the girl feel more comfortable and it's, um, 
more than anything, I think it was, uh, it felt like we were being appreciated and acknowledged, you know, there was equipment for us for the first time. So that definitely changes it. It's like more of the fine, the finer tune things rather than just making fans comfortable and her physically comfortable. It's like emotionally felt supported. Less than 107 days remain before the event. And the reason we're talking about it right now is because the first 200 juniors that check in on competition day will get a uh, backpack, a bag, if you will. And uh, we want to make sure that you get in that number early, be a part of the first 200. And surely it won't be limited at 200, but that's what we have as far as a commitment for the 2017 Gotham. And that's what we're calling it. It's an outstanding opportunity to be a part on the right side. And it's, I think that's what we're calling wrestling these days. It's a cool thing. David Taylor said wrestling is cool again. You yeah. agree with that? Yeah, totally, totally. I mean, uh, I'm glad you talked about the backpacks because this will be the second year that Cliff Keen has chosen to sponsor us and sponsor this event. They really believe in women's wrestling and they really want to be supportive of it. So this year, again, they're, they're providing singlets for the junior finalists, um, which are really cool. If you haven't seen them, you can check them out on our Beat the Streets website, Facebook, and my personal Facebook and Instagram. Um, but yeah, they also provided... 200 bags for the first junior girls that check in that day and um additionally they're providing us with extra bags and some event t-shirts to sell there so if you don't make that 200 you still have the opportunity to get the cool gear but yeah wrestling is cool wrestling is like modern day gladiators and now we have this really cool gear and stuff specifically for women and people as awesome like tom keen who are supporting it, the whole movement Kendra Cheers is a 15-year-old Native American student at Niagara Wheatfield High School, and right now she is looking for funds uh, to go to Sweden on Team USA. It, I, I like it when the community gets together to to help uh, in these GoFundMe type pages, and when it's a community effort, sending an athlete. How do you feel about that? Um, oh, I love it. I mean. A, a bunch of our New York girls are actually going to be going to the USA Wrestling Camp in Nassau Community College. Um, Nassau is trying to start a women's program for next year, a collegiate women's program for next year. So they wanted to host a really big uh, camp supporting these girls. Um, so a lot of our new, the team New York girls are, are going to this camp and also going to Sweden. And I can say personally that the ones that I keep posting on my Facebook are girls that deserve to go and are being supported <laughs> insanely supported by our community, which is awesome because they wouldn't have the opportunity to go out there if it wasn't for our community. By the way, do me the favor, fans. Look for Jackie Davis on Facebook, as I just did, and request that she become a friend of yours. She is a real friend of the sport of wrestling to those that the sport serves, the kids in this case, uh, in New York. And speak the streets New York, B-T-S-N-Y. Dot org. That's where you'll find more information. There's a, a boys' side, the girls' side, and then the unified effort, of course. But we have a uh, we've got a pistol on this young lady. She knows how to coach, and she knows how to inspire and bring an event like this to uh, to prominence. April twenty second and twenty third. You got to save that date. Got them city girls open. It'll be the fourth edition of this, sponsored by Cliff Keen, and it'll take place at Columbia University. You and I talked off air about this. Columbia is ultimately a pretty cool campus, isn't it? It's a beautiful campus. It's gorgeous. You, you walk on the campus, and you're walking into you know history. Yeah, it, I mean, so many amazing people came through that school, uh, graduated from an, that Ivy League. The reason, though, the second reason why we put it at the Ivy or at the Columbia campus is. Um, I run a girls wrestling club out of Columbia's wrestling room every Sunday. And the purpose is that we don't yet have a girls, a women's wrestling team at an Ivy league or a big 10 school. So, um, we run a girls wrestling club out of Columbia in the hopes that we can encourage and rally girls on the campus, uh, to become members of this club and to eventually build the first ever women's Ivy league team. And we actually, Bree Santos from Virginia, she just got accepted to Columbia. She's going to be our first girl who uh, is going to be representing Columbia women's wrestling. How different is the temperature in Santa Rosa versus New York city? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually from California. I just found out from my doctors that I'm low in vitamin D. So I think that, uh, my body is uh, missing California sun right now. <laughs> right. 
I, yeah. I, I had the same kind of response from my doctor three weeks ago. You're deficient in vitamin D because of no sun and uh, vitamin B12 as well. So I started taking some uh, some subs on that. I'll tell you what, changed every day, changed. I love it. Yeah, so, I yeah. know. And like, maybe I should just take a California vacation. No, 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 no. And we need to keep, keep you in New York. Our kids need you in New York. I don't want to be selfish or anything. But No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Jackie, this event uh, will draw in competitors from several countries. What countries have you heard from and do you expect to be there? Um, Canada every year brings a team down. They're very excited to bring another team. Uh, team Mexico is actually coming out again. They're submitting their list of girls today. Um I know that Italy will be in town. I uh, haven't gotten a confirmation from them yet, but hopefully. <laughs> um, so we'll for sure have Mexico and Canada and then hopefully a return from from Italy. I love it. And do, do any of the girls that will be uh, contesting at this event, do any of them make the Beat the Streets uh, big gala in the spring in May as we close down, at least historically in the past, close down Times Square to put on a little wrestling show? Yeah, yeah, there are um, a couple of our girls, <laughs> sorry, I cough. a couple of our girls are girls that will usually end up in the gala on the big stage. Um, last year we had our girls' city championships, their dual meet championships on the big stage for our gala. So they usually, again, I think we're going to do the team championships there. Let me ask you this. There's, <laughs> there's one particular board member I want to <laughs> talk about, okay? And because what I've seen her do, is literally <coughs> not just back wrestling, but really get in the trenches and be there with our wrestlers, most notably and most recently at the Olympics, uh, Kira Berry. What can you tell me about uh, Kira? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I wouldn't survive without Kira. <laughs> she um, <clears throat> She's like the spearhead for everything. It feels like everything. It, when I find out something new... And then all of a sudden I hear her name's tied to it. I'm like, of course, of course Kira is involved with that. Um, she's super supportive. She's super excited about creating opportunity. And she is realistic about stuff, but always open to ideas and like wants us to be creative and think out of, out of the box on it. Um, and she was the women's team leader for Team USA. So she, she knows how it works on a higher level too and how important our younger girls, our cadet junior and youth girls, need to be involved outside of just our city. So... She's, she's awesome. She's, you know, aside from, if, if, if you want to know something about a woman or a person in, in general, just check out their history and their, and their, their service to uh, the balance of humankind. She's always on boards, whether it's All Saints, Episcopal, or Hoboken and Village Community School, uh, Hoboken Travel, Soccer. Uh, her and her husband, David, have done so much and led by example in such a positive way. When talking to her at the Olympics, I was so energized by her energy. And uh, it seems to be uh, contagious. Would you agree with that? Totally contagious. I mean, I almost feel that uh, every time I meet up with her, I'm inspired to do something new and try something a little bit different. Um, I also am I kind of consider her a major role model in my life. I feel like no matter when I happen to get the chance to meet up with her, she's like, oh, sorry, I have a meeting with this person. I have to run to get this person. And she's <laughs> she's amazing. She's nonstop. <laughs> I would agree with that. We had an opportunity, you and I, earlier to talk with uh, uh, Brendan Buckley. And uh, yeah. what a tremendous inspiration he's been for a lot of kids. But been a great friend of the sport as a competitor and a coach in New York. Was lucky to be able to pull him back. And... Yeah. Uh, you know, put put his knowledge of having spent the last uh, eight to ten years at the collegiate ranks, and, but now back in New York City with uh, Beat the Streets New York. So you got an exciting team of coaches there. I'm yeah. looking forward to this 2017 Gotham City Girls Open Championship. I only wish and hope that I'll be asked to announce. I think it would be terrific. Yeah, oh, I would love it if you came. Well, you want to come on over? We'll take you. <laughs> we'll have to talk about that, Jackie. It would be my honor. Absolutely. The uh, women, as a matter of fact, are having their national duels. Is it this weekend? Um, I think that they had them last weekend. Last weekend. Okay. So I just haven't caught up. I've been doing interviews all morning long. But yeah. what we're seeing is like King College, for example, uh, yeah. doing a good job of competing out there and not necessarily dominating, but they've been repeating. <clears throat> and then, of course, you have Campbell and Menlo. And uh, there's so many good programs out there anymore. Are we in danger yeah. of running out of women? Oh, that's a conversation for sure on the 
um, <clears throat> I serve on a, a few women's boards and uh, in committees, and it's definitely a conversation we have that uh, we have this collegiate boom, and but we do struggle with filling numbers at high school levels. I do think that um, there are. There are so many organizations that are focused on that that it's it's on everyone's radar that we should be okay for right now, but okay. um, we need to keep people focused on that. Jackie, let's give them the website one more time. How they can get registered for this again, 107 days away. How can they register for the Gotham? Um, you just go onto our Beat the Streets website, which is www.btsny.org. When you go to the main page, there's just a big orange register button. Click that, and the registration is underneath of it. Yeah, it couldn't be any easier. I could do it right now. As a matter of fact, one other thing I can do today, and you can too, fans, you can donate to Beat the Streets, not just New York, but Beat the Streets in your area. There are several uh, branches of Beat the Streets. We're talking, of course, about New York City and their efforts right now, but we encourage you to be a part of one of the most successful uh, promotions of wrestling at all levels in America and, dare I say, in the world. Beat the Streets, New York City, hosting the 2017 Gotham City Girls Open Championship. Registration is up, and we do appreciate our friends at Cliff Keen for supplying some great-looking gear for the women. Uh, who picked the green? Oh, I did. That was yours. <laughs> I really like the teal and the coral thing. I did it last year uh, for the singlets, um, so I kind of wanted to continue with that, but their art department's awesome. They added... This really cool lion on the front for like the New York Library lion, also the Columbia lion. So um, they they did a really beautiful job making the gear. Well, uh, talking to you, talking to Brendan, Mike Novogratz, Kira Berry, etc. It's it's always uh, it's always fun because it puts me in a New York state of mind. Thank yeah. you so much, Jackie. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Jackie Davis, our guest in the Nike hot seat today. Again, that registration is open for the 2017 Gotham City Girls Open Championship, sponsored in part by Cliff Keen Athletic. It'll take place at Columbia University's Dodge Fitness Center April 22nd through April 23rd. It's not too early, and it's surely not too late, but it's not too early to get yourself registered for that event now. Parents, check it out. We appreciate it. Jackie, thanks again for the time. Hi, thank you. I'm Scott Casper for Takedown. Thanks for watching.